in the spring we bought four new fruit trees. We got two apples, a red peach, and an apricot tree. And they've done well over the summer, but to protect them from the rabbits eating the bark off of them and killing them in the winter, we're going to put a wire around them all the way to the ground. To figure out how much wire length we need to go around the trees, we use a little bit of geometry that we learned many years ago, and that was pi times diameter to get the length to go around the tree. We figured out and we figured we needed 22 inches per tree of this wire. I'm going to measure our wire. Now we want 22 inches for each tree. Got the wire cut, so I'm going to put away the excess wire and go hunt up my clips. very long but it just barely is big enough to do the job. This wire that we're going to put around the tree I have to reshape it a little so it will go around the tree to the point that I can get the ends together to clip it. We keep a box of these little clips handy for when we do use wire like this we need to fasten it together. These clips are kind of like a monkey in a barrel where they're all hooked together. You have to try to sort it out. <laughs> but these are the little clips we use to fasten the two ends of the wire together and this this is a tool we use to crimp them. You squeeze them shut and then both ends go together and that will hold the wire together. These little pliers are spring-loaded so they'll stay closed and you have to open them up and insert the little staple. There's a little indentation in each side where the end of the staple fastened in there. And then you can lay it down on the ground till you're ready to use it. And it will stay enclosed there. Okay, I have to bring these ends together and then I can take my tool and maybe hit those wires and squeeze them together. I'm going to put another staple right in here. And now put another one at a lower point. I'll take a very sharp nosed rabbit to get to that tree to ruin it. That should have it finished and the tree should be safe. Okay, well this completes our wire protection around the trees. But we also gonna put a little bit of fertilizer and some wood chips around it as mulch. And then they should be set for the winter and grow big next spring. Thanks for watching us on the Neal's Homestead. And 
give it a thumbs up if you like it. By the way, hi Kirby.